Hi, in this video, we will see how to fix the PyLint input error. This error is one of the common error which people always find during programming in Python using uh, Visual Studio Code. You will get this type of error if you try to import some uh, extra library or package like Scrappy or request, you might get this type of error. Okay, and there are many solutions in the web and so far I found that most of the solutions they are trying to solve different ways but they didn't mention what is the exact cause of this error and is there any real solution for this yes there is real solution okay and I also saw on a video where it mentioned to disable couple of settings okay and then it will fix but this is not the fix that is just disabling some of the feature of Visual Studio Code so enough talking now let's jump to the solution of this problem okay so here in visual studio code uh, this error actually is a pylint input error this error basically is not a coding error nothing it's actually visual studio is unable to compile this code or to link this code with your python okay so what is the python interpreter it is unable to figure out that's the main cause of this issue okay so here to solve this thing we have to point to the correct python interpreter with this visual studio code and then the problem will be solved so let's start first open command palette window if you are using mac computer then hold command shift and p key all together and if you are a windows user just use Control shift and p key all together and this type of command palette window will be appeared once the command palette window is there then we need to type something we need to change the command interpreter that means the python interpreter so we have to type python then interpreter these two words just these two words and then it will give us this type of solution we will not choose randomly from any of these we will choose only this one select python interpreter so we just need to click on top of on this and then it will pop up this type of window where we can choose which will be our desired interpreter so here is scroll down a little bit because here we are seeing our project name is scrappy underscore zero one so there should be one interpreter like this so i am seeing this one scrappy underscore zero one this is based on my project name if you watch the video carefully, you will see that the project name right now I'm working is scrappy underscore zero one and there should be something like that scrappy underscore zero one in this Python interpreter. So we just need to pick based on our project name. So do we have to match the interpreter based on the project name. Okay, and that's done. We just need to click on top of it and then it will be selected as the default interpreter for this project. And very soon, once it is done, then you will see the error gone now a few more steps we need to complete so once that error gone then we'll find linear pylint is not installed this type of warning box or alert box so here there will be three options install select linear or do not show again so we need to install this thing so just click on the install button then it will start the installation of uh, this one so i'm going to hit the install button of uh, from this alert box and then it will start installing uh, this thing so let's uh, install it and then check how it performs later okay so i'm just going to click on the install button once we click there then it will try to install on this environment and it will take some time right now we are seeing it is installing a pilot and uh, here it is mentioning the success okay once the entire process is done then the locking uh, skin will be disabled and this type of green bar will be completed okay so it will take a few seconds to few minutes based on the internet speed and once it is done i mean the installation is successful then you will find this type of window and there will be no error no issue and that's all guys in this way we can easily fix the pylint import error problem hopefully by watching this video you will be able to fix this thing and if you need any more help please put in the comment section and last thing if this video is helpful or useful please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the like button thank you for watching